Alright, hello all you crazy people out there, this is Dragonite, and welcome back to Screwing Around an RPG Maker. So, in the last part, I did some messing around with the database, um, created attack thingy, and created, I didn't really create slime, um, but I just deleted everything else that wasn't slime. Um, and in this part, I'm going to be starting to worry about battles. Uh, this does not look very attractive at all, it looks like a dog sticking its butt in the air, then it's green for whatever reason. Uh, troops, so this is when I get into a random encounter... I assume it's going to be uh, throwing me something from a list of whatever troops I have defined for whatever terrain. Can I define terrain things here? Map properties? Um, no, I would not like to do that. Oh, that sets the picture. Like, can I define what random encounters I'm going to have in here? Um, how do I define random encounters? Is it in map properties? No, encounter. Okay, so there's an encounter list here. Um, how do I add? How do I add? Oh, edit. Okay, so slime by 2, and encounter is 25. I don't know if that's going to be how many steps between random encounters, or if that's going to be, um, like, what percent chance I have running into something on every step, or what, but I'm going to go new game. Firstly, uh, what skills do I have? So I better have attack thingy, because I kind of created that, and I kind of want to see what it looks like. Alright, perfect. So I've started an encounter, and two slimes appeared. Oh look, there's auto battle settings, that's nice. Um, skills, let's use attack thingy on slime. Slime took 55 damage and was defeated, that's nice. Um, Alright, take 11 damage, that's a lot of variation. Oh wait, that's because I just used a regular attack. And um, would there be any variation if I just I kept spamming... um? What was the attack thingy instead of attack? Maybe. Let's see. So slime has appeared. We're gonna fight with uh, with attack thingy. That's nice. So you took okay. So that's a little bit of damage. Uh, Alex took two damage. That's not very nice. Attack thingy. Another slime. Seventy-four. That's quite a lot. All right. So I got some gold, and I got some uh, experience of some sort. Um. I have 12 out of 33 experience to the next level, it seems. I could level grind to see what happens when I level up, but I'm not going to. Um, let's see, health and magic points. Do I have... Let's see, equipment. Do I have any of this? Okay, so cool, I have equipment. That's nice. Not that useful. Alright, so let's get out of there. Close, and I'm going to go back to here and see if I can make battles a little bit more interesting. Uh, I am one who generally believes that, like, battles shouldn't be difficult as much as there should be, like, interesting. Like, have multiple ways to win or have enemies with interesting gimmicks. I'm not sure the best way to do that, especially not when I'm just starting out here. Um, but that's something I'm going to be trying to keep in mind a little bit. Uh, let's see... Also, I mentioned earlier, I was guessing that different types of terrain had different encounter settings, and it looks like that's not the case, because I defined the uh, the troops that you encounter in the map settings down here, instead of in the database editor in here. Um, <clears throat> these are elements, and there are apparently sword elements, and spear elements, and like punchy elements. Can I... Hmm. There's elemental rates. I assume fire and ice, I assume that's like super effective. And D, C, B, A. I assume that's like the most effective, right? All right, so can I go back here and have a look at, um, can I go back here and have a look at enemies? See if there's anything interesting that I can learn. Enemy graphics, very nice. Oh, cool, so there's like a sprite editor, almost. It's like, it's a huge shift thing, uh, more so than a sprite editor. Um, let's see, what does element rate say? That is number 8, assuming that this is labeled correctly. Alright, so, how effective element is A through E? And obviously, um, defined in the damage multiplier and elements tab. Alright, the closer to A, the more effective attack is. Alright, so that's what I thought. And I could go here. By the way, what's, uh, what's attacky things element? Skill type is normal. Oh, that's, um, that's not. Attack element can be, let's make this, 
I don't know, let's make the sword. And when I go back to enemies, let's make... Um, let's make this thing weak to sword. I mean, yeah, weak to sword. And how about you resist spear? So I'm going to define another one. And I'm going to call it a spear thing. And... Let's write a little description. Uh, percent %s is pretty uh, pretty normal as far as uh, damage messages go. The base value, what did I make the base value here first? So 50, how about, let's make this one also 50. And apparently there is four variants. Let's, let's bring that down to zero. And physical rate, let's bring that up to 10 and bring variance down to zero also. Magic rate, I'm just trying to keep things constant here. Um, spear, this element for spear is obviously going to be spear, because why not? Oh, is that a good idea to have this uh, sword? Because I think the default, the game gives you a sword by default. Let's make this bow, because I don't have one of those. And let's make slime, enemies of uh, slime. Weak to bow instead of spear. I mean sword. Bow. There we go. Also, it did say that you can define the damage multipliers for each individual element, which is kind of cool. Um, oh, there is no physical special split. That's interesting. I have these defined. I don't think I need anything else. Anything else. Uh, let's not poison you, just because that's kind of useless. And spear thing has a different animation, which is cool. Uh... Why does this stay stat, stat decrease? What's that? Is that for the poison effect, or is that for, like, it, it literally does HP damage? Um, let's look at skills again. That is section 13. Of course, there is no section 13. Oh, stat decrease. It's, it's mislabeled. Again. Um, which stat the base effect value of the skill is applied to? Stat reduction can only be applied to HP or MP if it's absorb. If ignore defense. Alright. So those are in battle effects, so I don't think I need those. Um, Alright, so let's go to actors, have this guy relearn. Uh, is there, like, default attacks that you can have? I feel like there should be. Oh, I can set, like... Alright, let's go to none. Yeah, we're not going to start out with any, um... We're not going to start out with any weapons or anything like that. Let's see. I take neutral damage from everything, which is interesting. I assume... In, like, items and the, uh, the armor and stuff... I can define resistances or weaknesses or something like that. <clears throat> but... I'm not going to do that now. Alright, well, I am going to start the game again. I'm going to get into a random encounter, and... Oh, I know what I can do. Let's get out of there. I assume enemies. How much experience do you give me? From, um... Or I can just set this to, like, something ridiculously high, so that I can keep doing damage to you. Experience. Alright, so now I'll get experience from you, and I can level up and learn that other skill. Right? Oh, in that case... Wait, what am I doing? Um, I don't want you to have an insane amount of HP because then the battles will take forever to play out. <clears throat> Alright. So. Let's see, come on, give me a random encounter. 25 steps or whatever. And the slime has appeared. Let's use attack thingy on you. What? I have MP. Why is this grayed out? Oh, is it because I don't have a spear? It's probably because I don't have a spear. Um, in that case, actors, your default um, stuttering equipment weapon can be spear. Oh, I can't dual wheel. That's no fun. Alright, RPG Maker 2K limitations. In that case, I'll just have to run the game twice. And um, like edit the database. Can I define a starting inventory or anything? That would be cool. 
Also, can I define, like, the default hit? Like, the default physical attack? Come on, thank you. Alright, so... This time... I still can't use... What am I, uh, what am I doing? I need... I have a spear. Attack thingy uses... Bow. Oh. So I need to, um... I need to make this a bow, or something. <clears throat> And I should probably do, if I want to do a real scientific test, I should make sure that the spear and the bow have the same, uh, like, base power, whatever. Um, that would be, where is it, wrapped bow, attack power 40, and spear attack power should also be 40. Alright, F10 is the shortcut to run the game here, as opposed to, um, um, F5 in Game Maker slash Game Maker Studio slash whatever. All right, cool. Fast ram encounter this time. That's nice. And I should be allowed to use this this time. All right, slime is ineffective. Perfect, because you're not affected by bows. And I assume I'm not going to test this because I've been trying to mess around with this for a while. But um, if I were to use the spear one, it would show like a super effective message. All right, that's cool. What else is there that I can mess around with? Elements. Um, these look pretty straightforward, so I'm not going to screw with this. Uh, states. Dead. Uh, persists after battle. So it's a non-volatile status effect. Color. What's the purpose of color? Is that like a UI color or something? Um. Why can't, why are these grayed out? Why can't I edit this? Status removed message. Huh. Stat ray. That's odd. Is the first one in the list hard coded to be like a, a death state or something? That's odd. Um, there's a lot of properties here relating to status. Restrictions can't move. This isn't shock, stun, paralyze. If this was Pokemon, this would all be one status. But this is not, so this is three different status. Um, accuracy modifier. What's accuracy modifier do? Um, states. All right, section nine. Please actually have a section nine. Thank you. How much the character's accuracy will be modified? Physical attack dodge message. All right. <clears throat> Which rating? Is that the like chance of you'll be immobilized or whatever? Rating. A oh, priority. Oh, so that's just uh, which ones are displayed if you have multiple statuses. All right. Um, remove naturally. That's pretty cool. You can automatically recover. Uh, from three turns onward, you have a 15% chance of recovery. That's not bad. If hit by a physical attack, why physical and not magic? Unable to use skill... Oh, okay, so I, I have to, like, check these. And, oh, come on, somebody's messaging me on Steam. It's not a good time. I'll, uh, I'll be back for whoever's messaging me, messaging me on Steam. Um... Where was I? Uh, HP decreasing every turn. All right. MP decreasing every turn. This is giving me a lot to think about when it comes to um, how to program battles and stuff for that Pokemon game and Game Maker that I'm doing. Let's see. I think this is just a list of options, really. And I don't really need to go messing around with absolutely everything. Um, animation graphic. All right. So this is like the, is this the, the actual images? Hmm. I'm not really, as I said before, I'm kind of interested in animations, but I'm also kind of not. What's max number? Oh, frames. So this is a 15 frame animation. And if I were to, I can, um, all right. Those are just each frame. Uh, this is like, um, the, uh, what is it called? Like the sprite origin, I guess? For lack of better things to call it? 
tweening, that's that's animation stuff. He uses grid. So like you can snap to the grid. Yeah, it's snapping to a grid. If I don't set it to use grid, it's not gonna snap to a grid. Alright, well I won't um Oh cool, I can move it around with the arrow keys. Uh no, 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 no. Don't do that. Let's just go there, go there. Alright, so the, the regular blow animation is gonna be a little bit weird. Actually, it moves so fast that you can't really tell that I screwed with it. Alright. Um, sound effects. Okay, so this is basically like a timeline sort of thing. I'm thinking of timelines from Game Maker. And these are the different moments on it. And these are the sounds that play at different moments. Uh, that's cool. Target is slime or whatever. Uh, is that just for like the when you're like messing with the animation when you're creating? Because that's a slime graphic in the background that I'm pretty sure isn't there um, when you actually use it. Anyway, terrain I already messed with. Tile sets I kind of messed with, although I think I screwed them up more than anything else. Um, terms. These are just, um, this is like language, I suppose. Uh, so if you wanted to make a, I don't know, German or something game in RPG Maker, you could translate these all to German, and the UI and everything would be in German, so that's cool. Um, I'm not going to mess around with this. Um, I did poke through this a little bit earlier when it came to, um, I think that was like in the very beginning when I was looking for something else. Uh, music, system settings, battle end, oh cool, battle transitions. I assume you can set the battle transitions through uh, scripting also. Window graphics. Uh, so this is just the window style. I don't have any others. If I really wanted to, I could probably pill for some from later versions of RPG Maker and, uh, um, and use those instead, but I don't really feel like it, so never mind. Um, actor damage. Oh, sound effects, sound effects. This is all... <coughs> I'm okay. These are all sound effects. Um, common events. What exactly are common events? Oh, I remember what I was looking for earlier. And that's, um... That is... Like, variables? Because I've seen things for setting variables. Can I, if, is, can I, like, go here? Set variable? Variable... I'm just gonna, I don't feel like screwing around and looking through all those pages again, so I'm just gonna look in here. Oops. I want a space. Control variables, perfect. Uh, how do I get to these? This is... Alright. Wait, what tab is this even under? This is under command list. Okay. Changes the value stored in a variable. I know how variables work, but I don't know how to access them in RPG Maker, as funny as that sounds. Do I just have to, um... What is it called? It's called control variable, that's it. Do I just have to find the one that says control variables in here? Oh, there we go. Um... <clears throat> okay. Let's, let's do variable one. Can I name it? Uh, test because I name everything test. Um, set. All right, so you can add, uh, set, add, subtract, multiply, divide, or modulus. Is there, um, can you define like types, like strings or real numbers or whatever? Hmm. All right, so this is for setting uh, like a bunch of variables in a row in a for loop or something like that. What's the difference between single and variable? Why is, Single operates on a single variable. Oh. Oh, so that's like a pointer almost. In like C or something. Yeah, I'm not gonna mess around with that. I'm not gonna mess around with pointers. I do not like pointers. Um, unfortunately, uh, they are immensely helpful, but I, I really don't like pointers. Um, so let's give, can I like add by one and print it out on the screen? So, if I were to say show text, how do I show the value of a variable? Hang on. Is there a show variable option? I don't see a show variable option. Can I say, like, percent test and have that work and have that do anything? Let's get rid of the, the, uh, the map transfer. Let's see if this does anything. Alright, why isn't F10 working? Yes, I would like to save. 
Alright, well, whatever. I can just hit the triangle then. Um, Alright, so it's it's not escaping that string. Uh, do I have to do, like, percent one? Percent one? Let's try that. Let's get rid of the test one now. I love how I went straight from battles to, uh, like, screwing around with variables and stuff. And is there any particular reason... Okay, so that doesn't work either. Is there any particular reason I use the phrase screwing around so often all of a sudden? Because I wasn't doing that just a little while ago. Um, that's not how you spell. Uh, that was not helpful. Alright, so if I just do show text... How... Oh, cool, so you can format text, too. That's nice. Oh, uh, backslash V and the number. Alright, so if I were to change this to backslash V of zero. I don't need to enclose this in quotes, do I? I don't think I need to enclose this in quotes. Alright, cool. Yes, I would like to save, and we are going to go and read a variable. Right? Test variable zero, test variable zero. So it's not adding. It's not doing this properly. Which is upsetting. It, it does say plus equals one. <clears throat> Unless that's like a local variable and not like a global one. Is that the case? No? Hmm, let's go back here then. How do you... Variables, that should be a basic page, yes. Events to variables. Uh... Randomized numbers, comparison of values, calculations, yeah. Alright. A very arbitrary negative 999 to positive 999, 99, Integers only, decimals are discarded, so no floats. Uh, in that case, I don't see why it can't go from like the full negative 2 billion to positive 2 billion, but whatever. 5,000 variables can be used. Uh, when the game starts, all variables will be initialized to zero. Can be checked, can be specified by clicking the dot 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 on the settings field. To display the variable window. The where? The settings field. Something about settings? Let's get out of there. I don't see a dot 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 settings. Tools, game, project. Um, interesting, I guess. It's definitely not in there. I'm pretty sure. No, 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 no. It's definitely not in there. I'm pretty sure it wasn't in... Um, I'm pretty sure it wasn't in the database editor. Yeah, I don't see anything relating to variables in here. Can I... I, I can't do, like, game properties or anything. Um, I just accidentally left that map, didn't I? Hmm. Let's go back a page, because I accidentally entered a page that I wasn't really interested in. Events to variables... What section am I even in? Because it doesn't have a, it doesn't show a page section here. It doesn't show a page selected here, rather. I wonder, can variable names include spaces since you don't actually edit them through code or anything? Not sure about that. Let's see. The right side of the settings field, but for what? Not here, surely. Like events? Variable? Oh. Oh, this is, a. Uh, it's talking about the event page. Alright, I don't want that. I know how to do that, but I want to know if I can, like, set, I can initialize variables to anything. Unless there's, like, creation code or uh, something like that. Like, map creation code. Or creation event or whatever the analog would be in RPG Maker. Um. BGM, battle background. Scroll type is, uh. Like, looping and stuff. Huh. Shouldn't I be able to, uh... Have an event launch as soon as the game runs? I feel like I should be able to. Anyway, getting back to here. Why isn't this variable incrementing every time I, uh... I talk to something? Can I... Control variable. Um... Hmm... 
Okay, so you can set it to a random number, which is cool. It would be nice if you could, like, code this to be an expression. Like, variable number 2 plus 1 or something like that. But... Hmm. Player map ID player, like, level item is an inventory. That's pretty cool, actually. Other money, battle win. That's interesting. Midi play location, you can actually do that. That's cool. Uh, I'm just gonna go with this, though. Hmm. Oh, wow, you can click on this and, like, drag around. That's nice. Um, can I... Huh. That's strange, though. Oh, wait a minute. Do I want this to be V of, v of 1 instead? Uh, the show text? Uh, show text to be... Let's... I don't need the quotes, do I? Percent... I mean, no, it's backslash V of 1. Alright, so RPG Maker being like the only programming language ever that... Oh, come on, I accidentally deleted it. The RPG Maker being the only programming language ever that um, like starts indexing arrays from 1 instead of 0. Uh, that's probably not true. I'm sure that there are others somewhere, but... Um, most computer programming situations would have you... Um, would have you, all right, 11, 22, this is working, nice. I would have you start with, like, variable 0 instead of 1, which is uh, interesting, I guess. I, I assume that's to make it more friendly to beginners, but mm, to everyone else who's done computer science before, it's uh, a little bit weird. Anyway, I've learned how to do battles, I've learned how to do events with variables, I've learned how to do a few other things. In the next part, I have no idea what I'm actually going to do. Uh, let me know in the comments if there's anything in particular you think I should try out. For now, my name is Dragonite. I hope you all enjoy that, and I will see you all later.